Hello, hello, this is going to be a video about that weed cat. Remember that one? Yeah, weed cat came out in the full game. I, he, the, the game, the cat had a, a game attached to it, unfortunately. Uh, and the name of that game, I think, is Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. Uh, but other than that, the cat was fine. Uh, that's my review of Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet. Uh, no, um, this video... Last month I was doing my Monster Girl series for October, and I barely got done with that, because the very last video, I think I was either very slightly getting over being sick, or I was just starting to get sick, I can't remember which. Because I ended up having, the doctor said it was a secondary infection of whatever I had before, but that completely fucked me up really, really badly. Uh, to the point that I thought that I might need be, to be in the hospital. I thought I had pneumonia for a while, but it ended up just being at a particularly nasty something or other. And I was not really told what it was. It was just not good. So I was bedridden for almost... Well, I was sick for an entire month, but I was bedridden for quite a while. And I was quite irritated with it because I couldn't do any work. But anyways, to the point... I started doing, uh, I was trying, this was supposed to be the month where I got all my commission stuff done that I've been building up for like a year and a half because the past year had been nightmarish. And I got some of those done until I started getting sick and in the process of being sick, although it really took it everything out of me just to even attempt to draw anything. And of course, whenever you're sick, whenever you draw, it looks like crap anyways. Anyways, as a result of all that... Um, my drawing today was like my first real attempt to try to swing for the fences and try to do a good drawing, <laughs> quote unquote good drawing, um, since being ill. So it's going to be kind of weird, but I wanted to get a video out, you know, sitting around thinking, what the hell am I supposed to do? Because all my videos have been drawing videos as of late. And I wanted my next one to be, like, something gaming-related, like either a review or a little gripe or something. But I didn't have the time to do that, didn't have time to do any research. But I figured, hey, the Pokemon thing's coming out, and most of my fan base is filled with perverts, so I'll just do this. So that's why we're here. So to that end, I have played a little bit of the game, but not that much. I had... I can write it off as a business expense because I had to research it for fapping material for you guys. It's on you. So I was sitting here thinking about what am I going to talk about in this video? Because uh, someone was asking me, uh, what exactly are you going to talk about in this video? And I said, I don't know. It'll probably be the same thing that I talk about in every single Pokemon video, and I guarantee you that is going to be the case. Because in every single Pokemon video, I just end up talking about um, how bad Game Freak is at making video games, because that, that is true every single generation. I talk about how I don't really like the way that Pokemon is designed as a game system. I talk about how I either like or don't like some of the designs. Then I accuse everyone of being a furry. Besides myself. And then after that, I ramble for a little bit about some other thing that had nothing to do with anything. And maybe a little bit about the drawing and then that's it. And that's exactly what this video is going to be. Plus this first five minutes of me rambling to get some time out of the way. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, first, to just get this part out of the way, uh, since this is the primary stage. And actually drawing this thing, I was trying to play up the fact that the cat looks magical. Of course, I was trying to insinuate female form to it because perverts, that's the joke. That's what we're doing here today. That's my brand. Um, I kind of wish I'd not gone with this pose. Something that I was, I, I did most of this on stream. Actually, I think I did the whole thing on stream. Yeah, I did, I did. Um, I did three streams of this while I sat there listening to mainly Zelda music, relaxing Zelda music. 
And uh, we were just sitting there discussing Pokemon and whatnot. And um, the entire time I was complaining about the fact that there are certain drawings of mine that I can actually remember. Most of the time I can't remember any of my drawings. Like, you just make them and then they're out there. And I could show you guys every drawing that I had saved that I had created over the past, you know, uh, like 10 years or something. And I guarantee you guys would not even know I had drawn uh, probably 95% of them. Because this is how it is. And I as well would not have remembered like 95% of them. Uh, I would go back and look at them and go, oh yeah, and there's some of them that I don't recognize whatsoever. I have no idea where it came from. It's like it just spawned out of the ether. It's, it's kind of crazy. Uh, but there are sometimes drawings that I do remember because I remember thinking, oh, I nailed this. Not necessarily because it's the greatest drawing ever, but because there's something about it that I really enjoy drawing. And everything about it is something that I really was aiming for in terms of style, and I feel like I nailed it. And Pokemon related, uh, there is a drawing of Sneasler that I did, and I've, I've drawn several, like three or four pictures of Sneasler, because I was trying to get it right uh, whenever uh, Arceus came out. And the one that I'm thinking of is... One where, of course, it's uh, it's a full body shot of Sneasler, and it's kind of suggestive, naturally. It's like blushing and horny, because that's what I do around here. And I really like. I'm actually let me show up here. If I remember, here's a picture of what I'm talking about. But it's Sneasler, and the form of it is very exaggerated, very sharp edges and things like that. Um, very hard outlines. A little bit, of, a bit of the primary remaining. It's like a quint, a quintessential play gripe style image, where I'm leaving a little bit of the roughness in there, and has a lot of uh, energy to it, but it's still kind of cartoony. It's not necessarily realistic in any way. Uh, kind of stylized, but not too so much so. Really like drawings like that, and it's kind of hard for me to do those. Anyways, in drawing this, I was thinking about that. And I realized that the actual form that I've been creating is too soft. It's um, too rounded. And it's it's not really going... It's not hitting everything that I want it to hit. Um, and part of that is just the fact that I've been sick. And even whenever I started doing the drawing, I was still a little bit sick. So, point being, I was not terribly happy with the drawing the entire time that I was drawing it. And part of that is the pose, which I end up reworking several times until I get it to the point where I'm okay with it. And even the one that you're seeing here now is not actually the final primary. So that out of the way, that's the drawing component to this video, where I talk about the drawing. And some of you guys will not care about that, and some of you will find it immensely fascinating. Because you're nerds, or whatever's going on with you. Now, in terms of the actual video game, let's start talking about the same shit that I always talk about. First off, obviously for me, and for most people, um, it seems like, the clear winner for the starters this time around is Weed Cat, because everyone was very happy with Sprigatito, and I saw a few people that like Quaxly, although several of them seem to be assholes. Um... And some people were like, yeah, the, I like the crocodile the most of all. And I, can, I could see it. It seems like every single time that they do one of these games, they always have one of the starters be fur bait in some way, because they know what they're doing. Like, they understand. And then there's another one that's like an alternative kind of design. I don't know how to describe it. Where it's kind of stupid, but it's also like... Like, this time it's the duck. Like, clearly it's the duck. And I'm going to talk about the fucking duck in a second. And then they'll have, like, another one that's kind of just... Like, it's a silly animal of some sort. And they seem to do this every single generation. And, of course, with every single one of these, they can't resist the urge to make the, the fur bait one stand up. This become the, the joke in the Pokemon community. Uh, begging the evolutions to not stand up. And I actually kind of agree with it, because I don't have a problem with quadrupedal designs. Uh, as evidenced by the uh, Pokemon cartoon. 
which I hope to do more of relatively soon after I get everything done in terms of commissions. Like, Sprigatito, if they had actually done a quadrupedal design, I would have been fine with it. You could have done that fairly easily. Uh, like, go with this... I don't know why they went with, like, m magic. I get, it, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I would like to do my own series of, like, fake Mon designs. Lots of people do those. I think, really, that's the appeal that keeps Pokemon going. It's just... Because there's... What's, what's that? The one that's, like, on Steam now? The, that other Pokemon competitor game? It, like, came and went. It, briefly, people cared about it, and then they didn't. I, I forget what it's even called. But supposedly, mechanically, it was fine. But the art style was kind of ugly, and the designs suffered. Because the designs just were not interesting to look at. Uh, and I remember looking back at some of those and going through them and thinking, no, 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 I can't... Like, I can turn anything into a sexualized design, let's face it. If you're an artist and you're dead set on trying to make something, ha ha ha, funny, it's sexualized, you can do it. Like, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, but you have to do less work than others um, when it comes to such things. And here I'm going over it with my... Uh, I'm trying to do a secondary pass to... This is like the next day, I started going over the drawing with another drawing to try to exaggerate the features a little bit more. Which ends up succeeding, but I was getting irritated with the fact that this drawing was too soft looking. So I started trying to make everything a little bit more jagged and more Plague of Gripesy in order to exaggerate the form that I was working with. And... Uh, making things more fluttery and exaggerating the shapes a little bit more. Like, the original design, like the little dress thing that Mios Scarada, however you pronounce its name, uh, has near its, like, shorts sort of area, uh, are very rigid. They're just triangles that stick out. Whereas I'm obviously making them very fluttery and leaf-like. Um... This, doing little moves like that really helps a lot in making the form of something kind of stand out and look more lively and interesting. But anyways, that's what I'm doing here. But that other game, whatever the hell it's called, I was going through looking at the list of those things and going, I can't sexualize any of these. Well, I can, but I don't want to sexualize any of these things. It wouldn't be, really be funny, and these are all ugly designs. And that's the thing that has... That has kept Pokemon alive for years. Just the fact that its art style is so strong. Like the art direction. It hasn't been the games. Because, let's face it, like... Uh, Pokemon has the same issue that, like, a... Uh, like an Animal Crossing or something like that has. Where people get really excited about the premise of it. And then they play it. And sure, they're in love with it for a little while. And then, after like a month, they're like... Oh, this series has some problems, and then they forget about it when the next one comes along. It just it happens every single time. Because um, people will start trying to fill out their decks, and they'll start making their competitive team or whatever, whatever their final team is. And then halfway through, going through breeding and hatching eggs and trying to max out uh, IVs using that new system or whatever it is, or hunting, sh shining, like shiny hunting and RCS was another one of those things. Then something happens, there's a patch or an update or something, and then they think, well, I'll go back to it later. But then they don't go back to it. Because honestly, they didn't really care too much in the first place, and it was just a distraction. And they were not as in love with the concept as they thought they were. But they won't admit it to themselves, and then when it comes back to it later, they'll just repeat the whole process all over again. That's Pokemon. And it's kept alive by the fact that people like to look at the cute animal designs and sometimes masturbate them. And, uh, that's really all you need, baby. And it keeps happening. So anyways, uh, people really like the weed cat. And in terms of the final design, I think that's still kind of true. Um, the little crocodile thing, I think, is fairly innocuous. I don't really see too many people talk about it, honestly. I know that by far Weed Cat's the most picked one, and that does not really surprise me. Uh, the... The duck. 
Well, well, first the little crocodile one. It evolves. I was. I'm looking at a page of all the the new ones. The final evolution of the crocodile one is fucking crazy. Like it's intense. Like it really looks like it's going to murder someone. The middle one. I don't know what the fuck's going on with the middle one. It has like a sombrero on and suspenders. I don't know what they were. Man, Game Freak does the weirdest shit with their designs. Like I get that they're probably just sitting around just. We've done everything, what do we do with this one? I don't know, put a fucking sombrero on his head and it's made of fire, maybe? I don't care. So, I, I get it. Especially if they've been doing this for years. But you gotta think that they have new artists that come in that are actually excited, like, Oh, I've loved Pokemon for years, I'm happy to be doing my own designs. But maybe there's like a... One guy in the office that we don't know about that's like a huge asshole that tries to control everything, and... He ruins everyone's fun every time this happen like, it, who knows what the game culture is at game freak itself the other thing i know about game freak is that they have no idea what they're doing and that is extremely clear <laughs> they like game freak is not a good video game company uh, even whenever they were making exclusively the 2d games they were not very good at that either they are just suffering from success and have been ever since red and uh uh, blue? Yeah, red and blue came out. I think it's blue. Uh, of course, as I mentioned in other videos, I played red whenever it came out. I borrowed it from someone. I didn't really care about it too much. I caught some of the Pokemon, but didn't really care to catch all of them. I may have caught all of them. I, I can't remember. And I don't care to remember. It's not something that really had a big impact on me. Um, it's just another thing that people were obsessed with in high school at the time. Sort of like Power Rangers. I don't like Power Rangers. And unfortunately, that Green Ranger... Some shit happened to him recently. Uh, I didn't care about Power Rangers, but that was rough to hear. Because it's not like he was having a real rough time of it. But anyways. Getting off track. Back to talking about sexy animals. Um, Game Freak has always made bad video games. Uh, they don't know what they're doing. They, especially in 3D, have no clue how to make 3D games. They just suck at it. Uh, I'm not going to try to explain it or mince words. I feel like if you are a Pokemon fan, you are keenly aware of these problems. You're not going to be surprised by me saying it. Uh, they're just not a good video game company. They don't know what they're doing. And the best thing they've released in years has been Arceus, and I'm pretty sure that they actually outsourced a lot of help with that game specifically. So, it's debatable how much control they even had over that. I think they really just need to... It'd be nice if you woke up tomorrow and they just gave the license to someone else. Like, Capcom, here. Enjoy. Just have Pokemon. Just anyone but us. We don't know what we're doing. Anyone besides us, please take this title. You will actually turn this into a real success. Whereas we just keep taking the same shit and pointing at it. And asking how proud you are of us. Or of whatever whatever I just said. I don't know. Um, anyways. Crocodile fucking crazy looking. The duck. I, the duck. That fucking duck. I hate the duck. I got some people like, no. Not Quaxley. Quaxley's fine. Like he has that asshole energy. One of the things about me that you might like. Like, I really don't like self-satisfaction and arrogance. That's a big, like, trigger for me. Like, anytime something shows, like, mm, me, like, I'm so great, I don't get angry at it. I'm like, huh. Really? Okay. And then I will sit back and slowly make my little, uh, Machiavellian, uh, plans where I, um, want to weeks, months, years later, see it fall upon its face and humiliate itself. And not laugh at it, but just sit back and pretend that it's a complete surprise. Oh, really? That happened to you? That's crazy. Hmm, I guess... I don't know. I guess I have nothing to say about it. But it seems to me that perhaps you're not as great as you thought you were. Like, I'm like that. I, I really hate that. That energy. So when Quaxley is exhibiting this, I'm automatically, I don't like that duck. I don't like that. I don't like that duck. 
Don't like that. And then I see the final evolution of this thing. Like, I, I don't care about Quaxwell. Quaxwell's just another weird diaper creature. Like, Game Freak, for some reason, is in love with giving Pokemon big bulbous diapers. Or making their torsos. Like, they make the upper level of the, the body kind of okay. And then you get to, like, the, the waist where it narrows. And there's always some weird fucked up thing happening around there. Because I feel like they they really want to make something that's just humanoid a lot of the times. But they realize we can't just make it a person. So whenever they get to the part that's the least person-like, where you can do whatever you want to, where, a, a, like, a human being would be wearing a coat or something, they get to that area and, like, all right. I'm rubbing my hands together. I shouldn't have clapped, because now I have a big thing on my timeline. They get to that part and they're like, yeah, now we can really fuck it up. And they do some weird-ass thing in that area, where they start adding a bunch of rings, or there's the diaper, of course, or there's just some fire going crazy, or now it has, like, five body segments for God knows what reason. Just something's going on. And then it kind of tapers out, and then it has, like, a weird crotch area. Like Glade is a, a good example of this. The male version of, uh... Evolution of um, Curlia is its name. I'm not that big of a Pokemon expert. But the other thing that's not Gardevoir. Um, and I remember <laughs> during a Gardic phone stream, uh, one of the things that uh, Rubber Ross does. Go check him out on Twitch. Uh, great fella. Um, we were supposed to do something recently, but uh, I think all the, the Twitter stuff started happening. So it's like, well, maybe not now. Um, maybe later. But on that, we were doing some Pokemon-related thing, and I started talking about Glade's diaper. And I think I may have drawn one or two images of his diaper being completely packed full of diarrhea or something. You know, just one of those artist things that we do. Haha. <laughs> um, we're so cute and uh, uh, unique, aren't we? We're little snowflakes. So um, that actually caught on, and I still to this day see people in... The, the like the Gardic phone discord where you have to organize talking about Glade's diaper <laughs> I, I may not be responsible for that but it kind of feels like I am that makes me feel good about myself anyways um, a lot of Pokemon have the weird diaper thing going on in addition to a lot of other things and Quaxley's evolution into Quaxaval like it also gets the diaper Someone made like a, there's like a picture going on on Twitter right now of this Pokemon, Game Freak finally answers the question, what if uh, Blaziken was a bottom? And it shows a picture of this horrid duck thing. And that's kind of true, because this thing looks like a bitch. It looks like a bitch that takes it and loves it. And it loves its identity as being a little bitch. I hate this thing. Like, I'm looking at it now, I fucking hate how stupid looking this Pokemon is. A lot of Pokemon are like this. And this one definitely is triggering my hate the bitch senses. Just the fact that it's so, like, bulbous and curvy, and it also has that smug looking face. Like, mmm, me, and it's so undeserved because it looks like shit. I know some people are like, no, it's my starter, I love it, he looks amazing. I don't like you. <laughs> oh, by the way, whenever uh, here I uh, start trying to shade this stupid cat, but I I don't know what I'm doing, and uh, part of it is like normally uh, a lot of the drawings that I do are very they're so focused on um, uh, heavy geometry, making things kind of jagged and emphasizing form, that whenever it comes to shading, I don't really have to worry too much about it. I can kind of just do some simple passes and I'm still good. But whenever it comes to something like this straight on, especially the stomach area, there's nothing to exaggerate form on. So as a result, I was just like, what do I do with this? And I couldn't figure it out because I'm, I just, I'm shit at shading. Something I was talking about in chat is even in like a uh, comics and stuff, you have a drafter, then you have uh, an inker, like someone that does your line work. And you have like a colorist and a type uh, topography guy that's handling your letterboxing. You have a layout artist. 
And, you know, sometimes there's some crossover, but even within the industry, people know one person can't do all this stuff. And even if they had the time to do it, they probably wouldn't be skilled at every single one of them. Expecting that is ludicrous. I'm really good at, like, doing form and uh, uh, some aspects of layout and line work. Like, I'm very focused on line work. But whenever it comes to coloring, I completely break down. I'm not good at it. So it's one of those things where I have to usually really focus and you know try extra hard on it. And I still fail. So I end up uh, going over many different passes, trying different things, coloring until I'm like, okay, this sort of works. And spoiler, it ends up looking okay by the end, but it's not like amazing. But it's, you know, whatever. Anyways. Now back to criticizing other people's artwork. So anyways, this fucking duck is disgusting. And it has, like, it has this big, fat diaper butt area. And for some reason, the diaper butt is, like, stuck up to the sky. Like, it has a tail that reaches all the way up to its shoulders, almost. Because its back, like, comes down and then arches up. And you would think, looking at this thing, be like, oh, play could sexualize this thing easily. Yeah, I could. Like, it's already got its rear up to the sky. Like, it would be so easy to just give this thing a big, grabbable ass where you just latch on with both hands and go to town, right? These are animal. I don't care. You're watching the video. You're in for this shit. You just really latch on to this duck thing's ass. It would be easy. It would be so easy. But it's so goddamn stupid looking. It's like bulbous. It's got a bunch of like random shit hanging off of its backside for some reason. It looks like it has dingleberries hanging out of its ass. You see what I'm talking about? Look at this picture of this alone. Look at it. Look at the duck. Go Google a picture of the duck. I know I gotta put it on my screen. Quack of all. Or just just type in like stupid looking starter duck evolution. Pokemon Scarlet. It, it's got it has the tail and it just looks like a little duck tail. And then it has like a bunch of the like water themed shit just hanging off of it and it has like a string of dingleberries just hanging out of its ass fuck this stupid looking duck and it has like a a turban on its head i don't know what's going on it's so ugly I hate that duck anyways during the the course of me drawing i can't remember how it came up i was just sitting around losing my mind about something I think I was actually ranting about how ugly the duck is. And, um... Or I may have been talking about doing the animation or something. Uh, oh yeah, that, that's what it was. I was talking about the fact that I'd been playing the game. And I was getting angry at various aspects of it. And one of them is the fact that Pokemon will not get in the fucking balls. Because they're just so goddamn arrogant. And they think, no, not, I'm not getting in the normal one. You're gonna throw the good one. I deserve it. Me. the Because I was trying... Like, I try to catch the Pokemon. I don't give, really give a shit about catching them all. I, I hate that aspect of Pokemon. It's one of the things I really wish that they had not done in the 90s. I really wish it would go away. Uh, being compelled to just catch all the damn things. I don't give a shit. Uh, but there's that, like, Toxicroak or whatever the hell its name is. It's the Poison Frog one. It's the first evolution. I was trying to catch one of those things. And I don't like that thing's design. It has another design where I, I think... It has a stupid looking face. I want to punch it in the face. It's ugly looking. Um, and every single time that I would... Like, I spent like a good hour trying to catch one of these things. Because I was like running low on resources. And I didn't want to jump down from the cliff that I was on. Because the nearest Poke Center that I could heal from was like on a beach somewhere. Like there was no there were no roads on it. There's just a building in the middle of nowhere on a beach. Don't ask me how the people work there. They must have to commute like sixty kilometers. Um so I couldn't really leave. So I was just sitting there reviving Pokemon over and over and over again as one of these stupid frogs kept like there was other there was another thing I was trying to catch that kept using confusion. So my Pokemon kept hitting themselves in confusion and never managing to land a hit in between. And the the frog was like good against the typing of everything that I had in my party at that very moment. It was just annoying. 
is getting my fucking nerves. Because I kept getting this thing down to literally one health point, or like two health points. Because I, I had a, a move where my, uh, my cat... Uh, uh, what the fuck is his name? Uh, Floragato. I I could use one move to reduce it down to like two health points, and I kept doing this to these stupid frogs. It's like Pokeball, Pokeball. But every single time, uh, no, no, you're gonna use the good one. I'm I'm the poison frog thing whose name I can't remember. Fuck me. I'm the best. I'm not getting in anything less than a goddamn Master Ball. You're going to use the best for me. So, I, this is one of the things I was getting at, yeah. I was ranting about that in chat. Um, and, uh... I, I was telling my chat, I was imagining just... Like, I kept having this fantasy, because I... I'll, <laughs> I don't get angry at anything but video games. I kept having this, like, violent fantasy. And just my starter being like, oh, okay. And just, like, in the middle of the fight, just walking, stepping around his Pokemon, and, like, stepping up to the frog and, like, leaning down, and then just, like, pulling out a handgun, and, like, sticking it in the frog's mouth. It's like, you're gonna get in the ball now, motherfucker? You're gonna get in that fucking ball, or I'm gonna pull this trigger, I'm gonna open the hole in the back of your fucking head. You're not gonna pass out and wake up and feel good about yourself. You're gonna get in this fucking ball. And I'm not going to take you home and love you and give you a fucking home and tell you how special you were and we're going to train to be the very best. No, I'm going to put you in this fucking ball and I'm going to toss you in the goddamn ocean. And you're going to sit there for the next thousand years suffering because you were so goddamn fucking arrogant that you wouldn't get inside the basic Pokeball because it was just not good enough for you. And the only hope that's going to be left for you for the rest of your life is the hope that you'll survive long enough without losing your mind that someone's going to fish you out of the ocean. And then that person might love you. Or maybe you'll just suffer long enough that you'll be able to survive to reproduce whenever you're 1,005 years old. This is your life now. Like, I was just having like fantasies like that. Just violently resolving the situation with this poison frog. Because it wouldn't get in the fucking Pokeball. I'm finishing the shading on the stomach, by the way. My solution was just to make the whole thing dark and not worry about it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I have unhealthy <laughs> fantasies about the frog creature. Um, but this is the point where I was like losing my mind uh, on stream. Uh, and somehow they ended up like, I, I just ended up talking about the things that I go crazy talk. I was saying that I was... That's what it was. I was talking about walking around the house, just, like, making voices to myself. And one of those things was... Just knowing that people are... Like, people are playing Pokemon partly because they want to see the sexy animal, right? And people don't like to admit it, but... They also play it for the sexy animal sometimes. And they like the pictures that I'm making. They like the pictures. And, uh... <laughs> uh I was... Doing this thing where I was just, like, muttering myself. You like the sexy animal, don't you? Um... Because I was... I think I was talking about making another Harkness animation, because my ideas for doing animations are good. I'm going to make some uh, Pokemon-related stuff, which you might be happy to hear. Uh, that'll probably, they'll be next year, though. I don't have time to do it this year. Um, just... Yes, you like the sexy animal, don't you? Yes. Good. No, I don't like the sexy animal. I don't like the... Yes, you like the furry creature. The furry creature excites you. No. No, I don't like the animal. It makes my pants shrink. No, it's not actually that at all. Your your penis is getting large from watching the furry creature. No, it's not true. It's, it, it, I've been having a rough time. Being sick makes you weird. I'm totally not like this otherwise. I am. Just, I'm lying. This is a bad video that I'm making. Okay. But anyways, um, <laughs> um, 
point being, uh, point being, I don't like the duck. Actually, let me let me go through and look at some of the designs. I haven't looked at too many of them. Um, I'm just scrolling down the list of all of them in the order that. Th that's another thing. The boxes, whenever you send, if you're going, if it's going to make you catch all the fucking Pokemon, because let's say no one's catching these things to use them. Because one of the problems of Pokemon is that whenever you catch the fucking things, they're they're going to have the wrong natures. They're going to be wrong in that regards. They're going to have suboptimal IVs or EVs and all that other shit. And you might want to have a female one as opposed to a, a male one because you got to make more of the goddamn things. So whenever you catch, uh, catch one in the wild, it may not even be the thing that you want to use. You're just trying to get the thing inside of your registration to be done with it. Um... But whenever you send the things to the box, there should be a button that's like organized by uh, their dex number entry. And there isn't. You have to do it all by hand. Or you just have to like... I, I don't know how you're supposed to organize them in the way that makes sense. It it's just, I remember catching them in, in this area. I is it here? And then you just have to go page by page trying to figure out where the hell this stupid thing is. In Arceus, I had to do that. I had to go through and use like a a dex entry list online and just organize all of them painstakingly by what their number was. Because that's how the games always organize them. Anyways. I'm looking at a list of that. There's like the pig and for some reason there's like a sexy pig evolution right after that. That one's fine. I, I mean it's just a pig but whatever. Then it's like the caterpillar thing has a weird sloppy face. There's a tarantula that's like, this is a, a ball. I like that one. That, that one's okay. But then it turns into this weird fucked up thing called Spide Ops, I guess? And it looks like it's made of french fries. God knows what reason. I don't know what's going on there. Here's the final image. And there's... What the fuck is that? Is that like a... There's so many of the po Pokemon this... Look, like, this Pokemon this generation, supposedly competitively, uh, this has actually been a really good generation because there's a lot of good competitive Pokemon. I don't care. Who gives a shit about competitive Pokemon play? The fucking gameplay's busted. It, like, that's one of the problems I have always had with Pokemon, is that everything just comes down to which has the highest speed stat. This one, it wins. That's it. Just keep using that one. The one that has the speed stat, put that one in front. It'll just one-shot kill everything. And then you have to find the one thing that it can't one-shot kill. The thing that's just, it's invincible to. And then you go, okay, here's the... After that, then you're allowed to have, like, gameplay for, like, a second. Unless it comes down to, alright, I'm going to switch into this other thing that just beats everything. And as a result, competitive Pokemon play at the higher levels just turns into everyone using the exact same fucking team. I'm not going to get into it. Just competitive Pokemon just seems so goddamn stupid to me. And the actual gameplay itself is also stupid to me. I would much prefer it if you just had, like... Like... Uh, a maximum of three Pokemon, and you're expected to use them more reliably, or even just one Pokemon. Like, you just had your one partner, and you're expected to... Like, the, the combat was more robust. Like, I would change Pokemon so radically that you guys would not like it. Uh, but whatever. Um, yeah, there's like a giraffe. I like the new Diglett that's just a long penis thing. That thing's weird. I like the fact that it's weird. And there's like a bunch of weird... There's some fish. There's like a plant that's just... It just looks like a... Part of... Like the top of a pine tree. And there's like... Two legs that have... Flowers that have faces on them. But yeah, it, it, like this generation... The Pokemon supposedly are good in terms of like stats and stuff. But in terms of what they look like, I don't like this generation. Because so many of the Pokemon are just... It, it, it's like... A ton of them are just two legs that have something weird on top of it. Or it's uh, a, just a ball or something. Or it's an insect. Or it's just a, a long cylinder that sort of looks like a worm because it has two eyes on it. And that's it. That's, that's all the Pokemon. And sure, part of it is that I have a hard time sexualizing these creatures... And, you know, it takes money out of my mouth. Food out of my children's mouths. I like Palmot. I like the, the lightning uh, fighting bear thing. That, that thing's cute. 
but just a lot of them are just kind of uninspired designs. There's one of them called Flamigo that, you know, obviously sounds like Flamingo. And if I ask you to imagine what it looks like, it's exactly what you... It's just a Flamingo. Like, it's not like a Pokemon flamingo theme thing that sort of looks like one. It has some weird, like, mechanical things on it or, like, some plants growing out of its back. No, it's just a fucking flamingo. And that's it. This generation completely flubbed it on the designs. There's some of them that are, like, okay, but this there's so many of them that are just boring. And, of course, they do the iterative design thing. Like, some of them have alternative designs. Um, I bought Violet. I was really torn on it because, um... One, I picked Violet, I think, in the end, because I just liked the fact that I could wear pants that sort of looked like blue jeans. Instead of these ridiculous... Like, Scarlet's... Like, the, the stuff that they make you wear... The clothing is another... Because in, in the new game, you're not allowed to change your shirt or your pants. But you can change, like, your hat and your gloves and shoes. And I think that was just because they were too lazy to do it. Like, no, it's because they're at a school. Well, here's a great solution. Don't set your game at a fucking school. Problem solved. Self-created problems, right? But, uh, anyways. I, I ended up picking Violet just because I like the color purple. And I figured, well, if I have to look at it all the time, I may as well look at this. Uh, but the I didn't really like the Pokemon in Scarlet, but I do like the past designs. Whereas the robot ones, like the future designs in Violet, are fine. Just It's not really my thing. I think that most of them are kind of ugly looking. And the Glade one just looks like a Sonic character. Like, it just looks like Metal Sonic. It's very strange. Anyways, that's my review of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet or whatever is going on. It could have been better. Um, the Shrew Ledge. Uh, I, th that's the one that kind of tipped me a little bit. It's like, well, that one looks pretty neat. And I don't like uh, Armor Rouge, I guess. That's one of the unique ones to uh, Scarlet and Violet. They have two alternative evolutions, and one of them looks like a McDonald's toy. Whereas the Violet one actually kind of looks a little bit more reasonable. I don't know, just... I, I don't care. Whenever a new Pokemon game comes out, it's just, alright, show, show me the animals. I'm gonna draw a picture of it that looks very suggestive. Just give me the fucking animal. And then they show me the cat, like, alright, here's the part where the, the... the... it bellows at the waist. I can turn that into wide child birthing hips. And here's the part where it, like, flaps go over the chest a little bit. Because it's supposed to be, like, a cute little cape. Uh, that's gonna be the tits. It's gonna cover the nipples. Done. Fucking done. I nailed it. And that's what you're here for. You're not here for the compelling, competitive Pokemon breakdown discussion. You're here because you want to see the sex cat. Here it is. There's the sex cat. Hope you enjoyed it. Now I've got to get back to doing commissions so I can get back on track to trying to start doing drawings again that are animated so that you can masturbate to the animations and clap your hands for Dark Dr. Harkness because he hates children and he's weird. That's the joke. I am a genius. <laughs> um, uh, that's what I'm trying to get to. Um, so tune in for that. I hope to get to it soon so that people will care about me again. Oh, exactly. All right. Uh, see you guys next time. I uh, hope you enjoyed the quote unquote content. Bye bye. Yes, you like the furry creature, don't you? You enjoy masturbating to the cat. <laughs>